One awesome feature of Logic Pro is that you can treat your audio just like MIDI. You can transpose it, change the pitch of it, and in today's quick tip, we're going to talk about the couple steps you need to follow to make your audio behave just like MIDI in Logic Pro. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to call you that. So we have vocals, bass, drums, and guitars, and everything except for the drums is audio. And what we're going to do is transpose all these tracks up a half step so that this song is now a half step higher. Sometimes once you record something, you decide that maybe you need it to be a half step higher, lower, a whole step higher, lower. Just want to change the key to see what works. And you can do that very easily. Option up and down is how we transpose in half step or semitone increments. And we can do that on audio tracks as well. Track 77 verse one, group. So if I press option up arrow on the vocal track that I have in focus, it's going to transpose the vocal for me. But what you want to do is ensure that the algorithm is set to flex pitch. So I'm going to press command F to make the flex time pop-up button visible in the track headers. That way I don't have to go into the inspector to do this. So now I'm going to interact with the track header. In track 77 verse 1, group. Ten, flex time, automatic, polyphonic, pop-up button. And you see that says flex time polyphonic. But I'm going to set this to flex pitch since I transposed it. So I'm going to view space on this. Menu, a, flex, flex pitch. Flex pitch, check. And set that up to flex pitch. And Out of tracks, group. I'm going to do the same to the guitar track. Track 74, main rhythm, DI right, group. All right, so there we have one of the guitar tracks. So... Option up arrow. And now if I interact with the track, In track header, seven, flex time, automatic, slicing, pop up button, menu, eight space. items, check, flex pitch, flex pitch, check. Change that to flex pitch. And it'll take a second to analyze the audio. Track 73, main rhythm, DI left, group. Go to the left guitar track, option up arrow. And interact. In track seven, flex time, automatic, slicing, pop up menu, eight, flex pitch, flex pitch, flex pitch, check. Change that one to flex pitch also. And now we're going to go up to the bass track. Track 66 bass, group. This bass track is a track stack. So I can just do option up arrow and it will transpose both bass tracks in there. But if I interact with this track header. In track 66 bass, group. Zero pan, minus seven point, record enable, mixed, check. You see, it does not have the flex time pop up button. So for that, I will have to go to each individual track inside of the track stack. Auto track 66 bass, group. So I'm going to open the track stack with option accent and In track 67 bass high gk 800 rb group that's one of the bass tracks if i interact with this In track six, flex time automatic slicing there pop up button. i'm going to change this to flex pitch again Menu, eight, flex pitch flex pitch flex pitch check and do the same for the other bass track In track 68 bass low ampeg svt three inch tracks flex time automatic slicing pop up menu eight, flex pitch flex pitch check. change that to flex pitch and now if i play this project can we forget about the things i said Five bars, one beat, one you division, see one that tip. we now have the project playing back a half step higher. That's how you can transpose your audio in Logic Pro. So essentially, you need to ensure that flex pitch is enabled. That's it for this quick tip. If you'd like more tutorials like this, feel free to subscribe to the mailing list found at logic.band and the YouTube channel. Also, if you'd love to support more content like this, visit logic.band slash support where you can make a one-time or ongoing donation. Until next time, happy recording.